Hello, my name is Jonathan Brown. I'm the violist of Cuarteto Casals. This is the second time that I will be on the jury at the Wigmore Hall uh, String Quartet competition, which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, there are a number of things I'm looking forward to. Every competition is different, but there are certain things that competitions have in common, all of which um, are great pleasure for me. The first, of course, is just to spend all day listening to string quartets. It's something I don't get to do very often. Um, relatively rarely in a normal season do I get the opportunity to hear even one or two string quartets, but to hear 12 string quartets um, in a week is a real pleasure. Um, I'm also looking forward to being with the other members of the jury. I think it's always fascinating to see how other quartets deal with um, the same issues and the same problems. Um, so spending time together as a jury is, is um, always a pleasure. But most of all, I have to say what I'm looking forward to is um, finding and establishing new relationships with young quartets. Every competition where I've been on the jury has, um, has brought new quartets to my attention, uh, many of which um, I now have a very wonderful relationship with, either I've invited them to play or we've worked together in the future, or we've crossed paths again. And that's, I think, the most gratifying part about competitions is the relationship that the relationships that come to um, come come about as a result of the competition with young quartets. For me, what's most important is that um, they have an honest and um, open and uh, uh, spontaneous relationship to the music, such that I, as a listener, have a feeling that I'm involved in the creation of something that's happening in the moment. I'm personally am not particularly interested in a manufactured or prefabricated version of um, pieces that we all know well. Um, I'm more interested in how they um, um, live in the moment, how they emotionally react to this music, and what um, how their emotional experience of the music um, affects me as a listener. Always the most difficult is Beethoven, um, because it combines the technical difficulties of the 20th century uh, repertoire with, because he was looking forward with the, the transparency often of, of classical repertoire, and then with such a tremendous emotional range. So if I had to pick one, maybe I would say Beethoven, but um, Haydn and Mozart can be a real problem for some quartets and 20th century repertoire is never, or 21st century repertoire even is um, never particularly easy. So we'll see. I think what I enjoy most is the opportunity it gives us to grow together as a, as a group. I think that um, chamber music um, playing means, first of all, that your own part is so exposed that you have to continue to develop um, instrumentally. Um, that's an aspect that can never be neglected. Um, but more importantly, you have to come to your own um, viewpoint or ideas about the music and at the same time be able to explain that, articulate that, or show that to the other members of the group while being um, open to receiving um, their ideas and, and, and listen to other people's points of view. So I think this, this combination of personal responsibility and then exchange with other musicians and learning to see things from other people's perspective makes chair music particularly interesting and invigorating. I think <laughs> this is a very good question. I think my worst nightmare would be to find myself in a state of apathy or a lack of curiosity. I think um, I've seen this happen to certain musicians and it's a real shame. Um, when the life goes out of it and becomes something routine, it becomes a job, it becomes something you do because you can't think of anything else better to do. I think that's a real shame. Um, I think it's tremendously important to maintain our curiosity and our interest and our openness to growing and learning new things. So, um, so far, I think for myself, I've avoided this, this nightmare. And I think quartets are pretty good about um, keeping people away from that apathy, but it's always a danger I think we should be aware of and hopefully avoid. If I had any advice, it would be to be yourselves and play the music as you believe it. I don't think, uh, believe it should be played. I, I don't think, in competitions, it's particularly helpful to try to anticipate what a certain jury member may or may not like. I don't think it's even helpful to sacrifice um, your musical personality for some technical ideal, which you may or may not be able to achieve. I think what's most important is that you're honest and engaged and 
um, openly, um, emo in, an, in, in an emotionally open way that you live this music in the moment, even in a competition. For me, listening to 12 string quartets in a row makes very clear which quartets are um, reproducing something that, that they've prefabricated and which quartets are really experiencing the music in the moment. And I think this is very, very important, at least to me, it's the most important um, element of a good performance. And so I think be honest and be yourselves and come what may. <laughs>